So you're in a coffee shop with a friend or out with somebody and uh, you want to show them 321, obviously, uh, but maybe you don't have any uh, internet access on your uh, tablet or on your smartphone or that kind of thing. Uh, never mind, never mind. Here is a way of taking somebody through 321 just uh, using a paper, a pencil and a pen. Uh, it's best if you have both pencil and pen, but you could do it with either or. But uh, here's how we, we take somebody through 321 with the paper version. And what I'm very excited about is that this is gospel origami. It's very, very simple origami. Of course, the, the benefits of simple origami are twofold, which is a joke. Um, but this has actually just got one fold. One fold and uh, it'll blow your mind. Anyway, here we go. Uh, so 321, you explained to somebody, 321 is the story of God, the world, and you. And first of all, we think about God. And uh, the first thing to, to think when we think about how do you picture God is, well, the Bible tells us that Jesus is the image of God or the word of God. He's the exact representation of God. He gives us our picture, our window onto God's life. And so maybe uh, think about the baptism where perhaps you remember the Holy Spirit descends on Jesus like a dove and the Father says, you are my son who I love, with you I am well pleased. And actually that's kind of a snapshot of God's eternal life. God has always been these three persons united together in love. And so that's the, that's the truth about three. God is three persons united together in love. So that's point number one, which is the, the truth of three. God is three persons united in love. And then you talk to them about two. Two is a truth about the world. Now the world uh, has a history that's been written by two representatives. Uh, first, comes along Adam. And Adam is set over the world to rule it and bless it. But through mistrust, Adam turns from God, turns in on himself, and is cut off from the life of God. God pronounces an angry no against the way of Adam, that way of selfishness and death. And actually, uh, because the whole world is meant to have uh, man ruling in uh, freedom and peace. Actually, when man falls, the whole world tumbles. And so actually the whole world inherits this life of death and curse. And so the whole world is taken down to death through the actions of Adam. But that's, that's one man. But then the, the truth of two is that there is a second Adam, Jesus Christ. And here is where the nifty uh, gospel origami comes along. Jesus comes into our situation as the second Adam to do in Adam's place what Adam failed to do, to live that right life before God of receiving from God and loving others. And Jesus lived the life that we should live. And then on the cross, he died the death that you and I deserve to die because of all our sin and selfishness. Jesus took that death onto himself. And then three days later, he rose again into a new kind of life. And he wants us to join him in his kind of life and in his family. So that's the truth of two. The story of the world is the story of two representatives. Adam takes the world down into death and curse. Jesus comes to raise the world up again into life and blessing. And then we, we come to the final point, one. One is all about you. You are one with Adam. Will you be one with Jesus? You see, we're all born one with Adam. We're all sort of chips off the old block. And we share not only in his family history of being disconnected from God, we also share in his selfishness of being curved in on ourselves. We also share in his fate, in his destiny of going down into death, not just physical death, but spiritual death, that spiritual separation from God that lasts forever. That is our inheritance from Adam. The good news though is that Jesus Christ comes to offer an incredible oneness with himself. When we trust in Jesus, receive him maybe like in a marriage where you receive your spouse for better for worse, for richer for poorer, in sickness and in health. If we receive Jesus then we are born again into his kind of life and we are one with him. And now if we're one with Jesus. We have Jesus for ourselves. We have His Spirit as our Spirit. We have His Father as our Father. We have His future 
as our future. Right now we share in the life of God. And then when Jesus returns, uh, he will raise the world. And this is where we ink over the, the pencil of the world. We raise, he will raise the world and he will raise us as well. So that not only do we share spiritually in his life, but in the future we'll also share physically in his life as well. So that's the truth of one. You are born one with Adam, one with his selfishness, one with his future. But when we simply receive Jesus, we become one with him. We receive his spirit and his father and his inheritance. So that's the truth of three, two and one. And, and once you've sort of unpacked it, you can start talking about it and you can unfold it and talk about the life of Adam. You can talk about how Jesus comes and lives our life for us. And, and hopefully it's just a way of getting conversation started so that you can talk to your friends about the story of God, the world and you.